Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to 22 News at 4. I'm Ciara Speller. We're going to have your top stories at 4 in just a second, but first, we'll have a look at that commuter traffic and weather. We have 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Adam Stremko here on this Friday. How's it looking out there on the roads? Well, Ciara, well, so far, so good. Not really any uh, big problems out there. Here's a live look. You can see uh, Interstate 91. For the most part, traffic is moving pretty smoothly up and down 91 in the Springfield area. Seeing some delays uh, down towards Long Meadows, slow, uh, slowing down a bit that way. Also, Route 20 in Wilbraham getting a slowdown there. And if you're going to be traveling the Pike East, especially as we head out towards Charlton, that area, Palmer, you're seeing that the I-84 and the Mass Pike where they kind of connect some slowdowns there. So count on some traffic if you're going to be heading in those directions. Out to the west, though, Route 20, uh, Mass Pike, uh, west of Westfield, looking pretty good right now. Let's take a look at the temperatures out there. Beautiful day. We have some great weather, lots of sunshine, and temperatures 70s and 80s. 80 right now in Springfield, 82 Westfield, Northampton at 80, 85 in Greenfield. So it's on the warmer side in the valley, but look at the Berkshires, only in the 70s. 74 in Pittsfield, 77 in North Adams, and nice and comfortable. Look at these dew points. We continue to see low humidity. It was very comfortable last night. We're going to see more of the same tonight. You can see the dew point Westfield 57, 56 in Springfield. Orange dew point there, just 52, 55 in Pittsfield. And it does look like we're going to continue to see this nice weather, Ciara, as we head into the weekend. All right, Adam, thank you. We begin our top four at four with the worldwide internet outage caused by a faulty updated push by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. In Massachusetts and around the world, the outage grounded flights, knocked many banks and media outlets offline, and disrupted services at hospitals and small businesses. CrowdStrike says the outage was not caused by a hacking incident or a cyber attack. We will have the latest on how this outage impacted local hospitals, airports, and the RMV services starting at five. We also know a man from Springfield is dead following a crash in Northampton last night. Northampton Assistant Fire Chief told 22 News they were called around 9 p.m. last night for a two car crash. The Northwestern District Attorney's Office confirmed that a 62 year old man from Springfield has died and there is a possibility that it was a medical incident. No charges have been filed. The Hamden District Attorney's Office has made an arrest in connection with the murder in Holyoke on July 9th. 19 year old Luis Rodriguez from Chicopee has been charged with murder. Holyoke police say on Wednesday the 9th, they were called to the 50 block of West Street just before 11.30 p.m., where they found three people who had been shot. 38 year old Dexter Ortiz died from his injuries, while the other two were not seriously hurt. And the East Long Meadow Health Department says a positive mosquito sample of West Nile virus was identified in town. The State Department of Public Health also identified positive samples in Blackstone, Clinton and Natick. West Nile virus is usually transmitted to humans through bites by infected mosquitoes. The virus can infect people of all ages, but people over 50 are at a higher risk for severe disease. So far, no human cases of West Nile virus have been reported. All right, Adam, let's bring you back in for another check of what we can expect this weekend. Well, the good news is, Ciara, it looks like more of the same. This nice weather is going to continue right into the weekend. Here's a look at our sky cast. And as we head through this evening, we're going to be dealing with mostly clear skies once again tonight. Low humidity, so temperatures are going to be dropping down into the 50s and right around 60 degrees as we head into tomorrow morning. So nice and comfortable. You can continue to keep those air conditioners off, open up those windows. As we head through the day tomorrow, we're going to see a little bit more in the way of clouds. And there we are at 7 a.m. seeing some clouds working on in. So filtered sunshine from time to time. There we are as we head into the afternoon hours, but we're staying dry. Skycast trying to bring a shower in, but you can see it kind of just dries up and falls apart. So I think most of us stay dry. Just a slight chance of a shower in the Berkshires tomorrow afternoon. 11 o'clock tomorrow night, mostly cloudy, but then the clouds will start to break up a bit overnight and as we head into Sunday. And Sunday looks to be the brightest day of the weekend. There we are at 7 a.m. Sunshine. We'll continue to see plenty of sunshine Sunday afternoon as well. It will be warmer but the humidity stays low. We're going to see temperatures both tomorrow and Sunday in the mid and upper 80s, Ciara. 
Well, the first Olympic athletes are arriving in Paris. Athletes from the U.S., Australia, South Africa and Japan are settling into the Olympic Village. They're being housed in brand new apartments made to host more than 20,000 athletes for the Games. It's complete with lounges, a club, laundry facilities and a massive dining hall. Plus its own post office and even a hair salon if the athletes want to look the part before competing. Ticketmaster and its parent company Live Nation are offering a promotion through the end of July that lets users buy four tickets for $80 for select shows. You'll need a code to unlock the deal, and the four for $80 comes as consumers show increasing signs of spending fatigue. Ticketmaster hopes this deal speeds up the live event space this summer. Now for a look at what we're working on for 22 News starting at 5. The fallout from the dispute between United Healthcare and Trinity Health continues. 22 News is looking deeper into what happened and what happens next. And Bay State Health hosts a celebration with local officials. See how they plan to bring health on wheels to next fiscal year. Plus, find out what you missed in legislation with this week's State House Spotlight. Here is a look at our traffic and again, 91 North from Springfield North is looking pretty good. But once you head a little bit farther to the south, Long Meadow, Aguam area, we are seeing backups on 91. So keep that in mind that evening traffic uh, will you, you will encounter some slowdowns out there on the Mass Pike. No real issues until you get out towards the I-84 merge there. And uh, you can see traffic uh, really slowing down in, even at a standstill in some spots. So you're going to be traveling out to the Cape tonight count on that traffic and as far as the western section of the pike goes west of uh, Chicopee into Westfield and you can see now no real problems being reported there a little bit slowdowns there in downtown Westfield but overall not too many issues out there tonight Ciara. All right, Adam, thank you, and we thank you for joining us for 4 o'clock newscast. You can join us tonight starting at 5, and you can always get your local news, weather updates anytime on WWLP.com and the 22 News mobile app.